Hello Saber fans! Today I want to uh, do a, a review of the Antares from Crimson Dawn. Um, I, as soon as I saw this Saber um, being available on their website, uh, just kind of looking at the aesthetics of it, uh, I knew that eventually I'd have to get it, but as I kind of looked into some of the features, saw that this was an upgraded um, core. Um, so I've got other Sabers that are in the V4. Um, core that has six sound fonts, um, nine watt uh, color changing LED. Uh, LED. Um, so this was uh, 12 watt. Um, it's not really much difference in brightness there, but um, you know it also had nine sound fonts, musical themes, and smooth swing, and that's really what sold me. As soon as I saw that this had smooth swing built in, I, I knew I had to have it. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to actually. Um, just briefly talk about the modifications um, and kind of take those off. But uh, first mod that I want to show you is this little plug for the recharge port. Uh, all I did was um, I took a little Lego piece and a Lego stud um, and then I put a little epoxy putty uh, around the edge. You could probably do that with electrical tape or something just to make it to where it just snugly fits in there without getting stuck uh, and that, that you can kind of take that in and out. Um, now I was dueling with my staff that I had also made some of these on. Um, ended up losing one so I'm no longer going to have that in my staff. But for this, um, in terms of the aesthetics, uh, which we'll get into in a moment, I, I did want to keep that. So I'll put that aside. Uh, the next thing that you'll notice is the gold here. So the uh, Antares, the way that it comes from Crimson Dawn, uh, this section here is black just like this section. And then this middle section here is actually uh, silver. Um, but one of the main reasons why I wanted this saber is because it's very reminiscent of one of my favorite movie hilts. And uh, again, I'll mention which one that is as I go over the, the actual features. Um, but it has, you know, gold up in this thin neck. Um, and then I also custom made my own um, thumb screws. So what this is, I just took a, an 8 millimeter M4 thread um, stud. Uh, just the, the tube itself. So it looks like a really long uh, retention screw by itself. Um, but then I got a um, one of these caps and I made sure, I think this was um, 1032 size, um, just so that it, I could just shove that in there. I put some epoxy putty in there as well that uh, keeps that on. But um, I like the thumb screws for these, but let me take those off for now. And now that we've got that out, let me take the blade out. And you'll also notice that it's got this nice um, 45 degree angle um, slanted emitter. I really like that look. Um, it also has these little vents here. Um, another modification that I did um, was I, I sanded down this ana, uh, anodized black just around that edge so that you could see kind of that silver ring. Um, I wasn't intending on doing that, but um, I think it, it kind of is a little rough here, or it's a little it's a little sharp. Um, so I wanted to just kind of smooth that down, and of course that exposes the silver. So I just went with it. But that's the modifications. Uh, now the um, the saber itself. The reason I wanted to get this is because um, this is, in my opinion, um, this is my dream saber. Um, it has a lot of the features from Luke Skywalker's Return of the Jedi green saber. Um, so it has, you know, the silver tubing. It's got the black and, and silver edging here. You know, it has that thin neck. I added the gold, of course. Um, and so those are things that always attracted me about Luke's saber. It even has this kind of faucet knob style pommel. Um, and then adding to that, um, this, it being black around this edge, is actually similar to one of my other favorite uh, lightsabers, uh, the Obi-Wan Episode 1 lightsaber, where it kind of has the, the black ball pommel um, with just those six etchings. So there's that. Um, and then, of course, there's plenty of movie canon hilts that have that uh, slanted or uh, an S um, curved hilt, uh, like Anakin's uh, blue lightsaber, um, Vader's saber. Um, Anakin's Episode 2 lightsaber actually has that. Uh, that feature. So one of the things that I love about this saber is that it is, it's, to me, it's got the same quality and aesthetics of a movie canon hilt, 
um, without being exactly like one of those. So it's kind of more like it's mine. So I love that. So let me put the, the blade back in and we'll go over some of the actual features. Real quick though, I, I do want to note that um, because of the, for some reason, um, this does have a little bit of wobble because you've got the ten or tension screw here and the tension screw here and that kind of creates a little pin vise where the blade can rock back and forth. Um, so I've, I've done two things to kind of address that so you can't see, thankfully, but I've got some scotch tape, some very clear scotch tape around um, the blade so you can't really see that. That creates a little bit of, of uh, pressure um, to hold that in. The other thing is I always tighten this screw first so that it pushes the blade up against this side, uh, which has more and will hold more. Um, so I make sure that that's the tightest. And then for this one, I just tighten it enough to, for it to stay in place. I don't really uh, tighten it any more than that. So, uh, but features, so you can see that the illuminated switch is already on. So I've woken the saber up. I've set it to purple. And listen to this. Love that smooth swing. Um, I have to say I've collected sabers for, for some time, and if this saber had been my first saber, it probably would have been my last. Um, this has really everything that I want. It feels like a real saber to me. Um, and then um, one of the things that I like about this uh, board, uh, in addition to the smooth swing, um, is that on the V4s, when you want to change the color, actually let me As much as I love that sound, no sound, let's set that to no sound. So that's another feature. Um, so one of the things that for the um, before is when it is uh, illuminated and you want to change the colors, you have to hold for two blinks, let go, and then press and hold while it scrolls through the color. But with this V6 board, all you have to do is press for two and it's already color scrolling. I don't even have to hold it. And what's really cool about this is that I can I can be doing my spinning with this if I want as it's changing colors. And as long as I don't uh, touch the activation switch, I can continue to do that and it's, it goes through all the colors. Um, so I really, really enjoy that. You know, that's going to come in handy as I do some of my spin videos, um, which I'll probably upload one of those a little after this. but. Um, I just, that's just amazing. So, and then now we're back to purple. Um, let me actually set this to a specific color real quick. So I've set this to um, the, the real light blue, which has got both the blue and the green um, channels uh, fully open. And the reason for that is I, I've got this custom blade plug. Um, and I've shown this on another video that I've had, but uh, since this is, is uh, a Crimson Dawn review, I want to show this as well. Um, so I just took a regular blade plug. I have a tube, um, just a little clear plastic tube, and then I chunked up these little bits of clear photoreactive plastic to make my crystal. Uh, and it just kind of looks like it's suspended there. And then I just took some, this is I think a, I think this is a car manifold or something from a, a toy um, model car. And, and what I like is that, you know, I can set that with a screw and check out what this looks like when it's illuminated. Let me see if I can get better. It's really hard to see because it is so bright, but that blue light activates uh, the photon uh, phosphorescent effect in the, the screen and it looks like it's a crystal chamber. Uh, you know, to the naked eye, this looks really, really good. It's Like I said, it's so bright, it's hard to see on camera. Um, but I can just do, let that go, and then there's a little blue plug right there. I really like that look. Uh, so I just wanted to share that, but again, you know, the Antares, um, fantastic saber. And one of the other things is that it is um, by far um, one of the, the cheaper savers that Crimson Dawn has. 
on their website um, for all the features and all the aesthetics that this has. I'm really surprised that this was, um, I think they've got it set at 165, but it's on sale for 109. Um, that sale price, of course, is probably gonna be what it's gonna be for um, that entire, its entire run. I don't know if they'll ever go back to the, um, that 165 or if it ever was truly at that price. But just aesthetically, this is a beautiful saber. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to mention. So, um, of course, the pommel comes off, as all of them do. Um, the middle section comes off, um, so it, it unscrews right here. Uh, so this whole grip section would come off as well. So, you know, this is compatible with some of the others, but, um, other sabers that Crimson don't have. Um, but one of the things that's interesting is that the emitter and this section here are all one piece, so nothing comes apart here. Uh, I haven't seen anyone mention that before. Um, I know that some of the, the Banshees are like that, where it's just one piece, but other people get Banshees where it is a separate piece. So I'm not really sure where the, the line is there, but um, for the Antares, um, it, it is, you know, from here up, this is all one solid piece. I really like that, though, because, you know, you need this lined up. Um, and then another thing that I forgot to mention was these really cool little vents. So even though this isn't exactly like Luke Skywalker's, you know, it has a, that cool little vent. That's just really a great feature. So all in all, I would give this Saber an 11 out of 10. Um, this is definitely my favorite Saber. Um, for a single, I, of course, I love my staff uh, as well and my Jedi character. Um, typically uses a staff, um, so that's kind of more my cosplay hilt, but in terms of features and the way that it looks, this grip right here is fantastic. It feels amazing. Um, yeah, 11 out of 10. I highly recommend this saber. Um, if anyone is kind of on the fence uh, in terms of, well, I'm not really sure which one I should get, um, you know, and maybe some of the replica sabers are out of your reach, um, price-wise, then yeah, I would get the Antares all day, every day. Um, I can't say enough about this, that it's just, it's just amazing. Um, but that's my review. Um, I, I'm not going to review the entire board, um, just know that it has smooth swing, those nine fonts. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other videos that will go through that entire uh, list. And I'm, I may do a video like that if, if you're interested uh, in me doing a full review of every sound font with um, you know, all the musical themes. Um, that might be a little bit of a long video, but um, if you're interested, hey, mention something in the description. And, and if I get a couple people that say they'd be interested in doing that, I will load that video up. Um, but until then, this is my review of the Antares, and I hope you guys enjoy.